These characters were career defining, but not in a good way. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 roles British actors want you to forget. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're ruling out embarrassing early or breakout performances, those are for another video, but focusing instead on standout blips on the CVs of already established actors. I ask you one last time. Will you submit to the ruling of this council and relinquish your scepter? Number 10, Christian Bale as John Connor, Terminator Salvation. Taking the lead in a bad sequel can be hard, and no one takes it harder than this famously intense actor. Objective located. There's something else you have to see. Having initially turned the movie down, Christian Bale eventually signed up for Terminator Salvation with reported determination to bring a fresh dynamic to the role of John Connor. But his efforts to bring life to the franchise weren't successful, and his frustrations erupted in an on-set meltdown, a leaked recording of which proved far more memorable than the movie itself. If we stay the course, we are dead! We are all dead! It's not surprising that Bale swore never to work with director McGee again. You were sent here to kill me. Kill the leadership. Number 9, Jamie Dornan as Christian Grey, the Fifty Shades series. The screen adaptations of E.L. James's steamy novels brought instant fame to both the lead actors, together with intense interest in their personal lives. Why are you here? For you. And while Dornan took the role of Christian Grey to raise his profile, he is said to have found the media scrutiny intrusive and was embarrassed by the consistently negative reviews. My tastes are very singular. You wouldn't understand. Having proven his considerable acting credentials in historical thriller Anthropoid and TV drama The Fall, Dornan has seemed keen to uncuff himself from the Fifty Shades franchise, ruling out any further appearances as Christian. You're here because I'm incapable of leaving you alone. Number 8. Patrick Stewart as Poop, the Emoji Movie Patrick Stewart is well known for never taking himself too seriously, despite his many pristine performances. Ah! Yeah! and I'm only 10. That's because I believe in you. And while his voice work on shows like American Dad has proven a big hit with fans, not every animated venture hits the sweet spot. And the Emoji Movie was an all-out disaster. I know it was an accident. We all have accidents. Yes, watching a smiling, strolling poop symbol say stuff in Stuart's well-rounded accents does carry a certain charm, but only for a few seconds. After that, it's fit for flushing. She said wiped. Aim higher, Stephen. Number 7, Kate Winslet as Beth, Movie 43. This Oscar-winning actress signed up for Peter Farrelly's ensemble comedy, with a host of top Hollywood talent supposedly expecting something successful. I don't know why I'm doing this, Pam. I don't trust Julie. I mean, what if this guy's a loser? But the A-list cast couldn't turn a Z-list script into something worth watching. Made up of multiple interlinked sketches, for Winslet's segments, she goes on a date with Hugh Jackman, as you've never seen him before. Are you good with that, or would you prefer a glass of wine? Or? No, no, I, I could um, use it. Even kinder critics describe the comedy as the worst film they'd ever seen, and most of the cast agreed, and even refused to promote the movie. Really <laughs> Number six, Gary Oldman as Rolf Bedelia, Tiptoes. Sometimes good actors get involved with bad movies. And that's what happened to Gary Oldman in this straight-to-DVD misfire. Then you put your headphones on and face the wall, my friend, because tonight I'm feeling good. I'm glad someone is. Oldman received some praise for a well-judged performance as Rolf, the dwarf brother to Matthew McConaughey's lead character. Sorry, I should have been more careful. I should have kept it in mind that anyone who meets you is going to just automatically know that you got a twin brother who's a f***ing midget. But as Rolf helps his brother's partner understand dwarfism, the film can't fully decide if it's a thoughtful drama or a dwarf-themed rom-com. Ultimately, it comes up short on both counts, with critics finding it awkward and insensitive. I'm getting out of here. Number 5, Robert Pattinson as Edward Cullen, The Twilight Saga By the end of the Twilight series, the supernatural excitement had long been sucked out of Robert Pattinson, who became famously frank about his frustrations with the movies. While filming, Pattinson had clashed with producers who had wanted Edward Cullen to be a happier character. What if I'm not the hero? What if I'm the bad guy? But the actor was also annoyed by increased media attention on his private life, particularly his relationship with co-star Christian Stewart. I know the consequences of the choice you're making. 
Eventually, the biting reviews, teen-lit storylines, and unbridled fan hysteria took its toll, with R. Pat taking every opportunity to turn his back on the saga. Leaving you was the hardest thing I've done in a hundred years. Number four, Tim Roth as Sepp Blatter, United Passions. United Passions is a definite case of wrong film, wrong time. Not that you'd know that from the press. They're not so fond of us. A movie which portrays football's governing body as a force for global good and set Blatter as a man of principle, it was unfortunately released just as the 2015 FIFA corruption scandal was unfolding. Do you know where all the money's gone? Are you accusing me of something in particular? Tim Roth might have expected Blatter to be a complex but worthwhile character to play, but with the film also facing accusations of whitewashing central figures, the entire project turned into a monumental own goal. Worst of it is, I don't know where the money's gone. Number three, Eddie Redmayne as Balaam Abrazax, Jupiter Ascending. Keen to break his buttoned up Englishman stereotype, Eddie Redmayne mixed it up by appearing in this big budget space opera. You begged me to do it! In Jupiter Ascending, a lavish and ambitious attempt at a sci fi epic, he plays Balaam Abrazax, the evil heir to an intergalactic dynasty. Given the character a silly voice, amazing abs, and an obscure habit for screaming suddenly. I create life! And I destroy it. For a destroyer of worlds space villain, Abrazax was woefully unimposing. But Redmayne's weird performance didn't hurt his career. He won an Oscar for The Theory of Everything in the same year. You just like her, you won't pull that trigger. <laughs> Number two, Jeremy Irons as Mage Profion, Dungeons and Dragons. Now, what do you do if you've just bought yourself an Irish castle and you need money to pay for it? If you're Jeremy Irons, you do Dungeons and Dragons. And then we will be forced to do whatever we must. The classically trained actor actually admitted to taking this role only to balance his finances, having just purchased a sizable property. And he gives an outrageously OTT performance for the cheap looking fantasy flop. You can write that, do you? Good. I can use every ounce of your rage. Based on the popular board game, the film features several poor showings from good actors, but Jeremy's performance as the evil Profion is a masterclass in what the hell craziness. <laughs> Number one, Joseph Fiennes as Michael Jackson, Urban Myths. Our win is an off the wall performance from an actor best known for his historical dramas. So, playing Michael Jackson in the Sky Art series Urban Myths was definitely a departure from the norm, but not the good kind. The controversial episode imagined Jackson, Marlon Brando, and Elizabeth Taylor taking a road trip shortly after 9 11, and while the concept was intriguing, audiences were incensed that a white actor should play Michael. The episode was eventually pulled after the trailer triggered a huge backlash and was even denounced by Jackson's daughter Paris. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.